Hi guys, I have Anne Susan here again from Bloggers on the Loose. Um, we're just comparing a couple of suburbs again. So, um, to see which one is um, the best one to live in. And uh, these two suburbs vary um, drastically in uh, the median price. So, um, the first suburb we're in is uh, Beaconsfield. It's a suburb in um, just uh, south of Fremantle. So behind me there is the Beaconsfield uh, Plaza, as you can see. This used to be the old, um, this, this shopping centre has been here for a long, long time, since the very early 70s, I think. And uh, they've certainly done a lot of um, work on this uh, shopping centre because there's nothing like, a, we did live in Beaconsfield in 1974. Uh, 73 and 74 when we first came to Australia we lived here and uh, that where that wall is where it says Beaconsfield Plaza that used to be a, a, deli, a delicatessen over there and behind that where it's you can see the the glass uh, doors over there way back in 73 74 that is to be a fish and chip shop. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, guys, I was just telling Susan about this as we were driving here. Uh, you get a massive bundle of chips about that big for 20 cents in those days. So the old shopping centre has changed a hell of a lot. But in saying that, um, we might take a little walk down the street here and show you guys a few of the houses in in Beaky, as they used to call it in the day, in Beaconsfield, in um, near the Fremantle area. So, guys, I guess you want to know the the median price for a house in this area. Well, it's pretty high. It is fairly close to to Fremantle, but um, a lot of these houses are fairly old. I mean, you get a is a nice nice one yeah this one yeah looks fairly modern it, it would have been built on um, one block one big block and it was subdivided because the houses are, are touching each other virtually yeah 14b over there the other one must be 14a because the blocks over here were over a thousand square meters in the day. Look at this one there, this one will go back to the 19, early 1970s probably, even late 1960s. Um, so the median price in Beaconsfield for a house is 893,000 Australian dollars. So pretty hefty price tag because when we moved here in 1973 um, you could pick up a house and land over here for um, about 45,000 Australian dollars, I think. I'm pretty sure it was that. So, real estate certainly does pay if you are in it for the long term. A few vacant blocks here, guys. This one over here. This one here looks like it's been subdivided. That would have been one big block. There's a brand new house over there on the corner and this here is the they've obviously um, subdivided it and um, they might put it on the market who knows or they might just um, they might just uh, keep it for a while there's a interesting another nice house here there's an interesting house over there in front of us with a turret type thing it looks quite cool. So yeah, this is just a, a quick little um, walk around a couple of the streets here in Beaconsfield. What do you think, guys? What do you think of Beaconsfield? Would you pay a median price of 893000 
for a house in Beaconsville. We will be um, comparing this to another suburb which is close by. And um, show you guys that house there is new. See that one there would have also been subdivided that block. See the block next door, he's got his car park there and his boat over there. So that would have been a big block. It's got 18A on the on the house. So when he decides to sell that block off, it'll become 18B on the vacant block. And um, he'll pocket some nice money. So we might end this, uh, wrap this um, video up here on the suburb of Beaconsville guys and we'll um, see you in the next suburb in a minute. So this year guys is um, Bruce Lee Oval over there. That's the oval I was talking about before. It looks like there's a soccer match going on over there. A girls soccer match. And um, the oval's still looking okay. It used to be much better looking in the day but it's looking okay. So we're going to head off to the next suburb now. Okay guys, so we're in the next suburb. Uh, we just left Beaconsfield and uh, we're in the next suburb that we're comparing prices to. So this um, suburb here is a very small suburb. It's only two square kilometres in size. And um, the, the background over there behind me, that's the view you get. So not a very good view for the price of the suburb because that view over there is of a lot of industry over there and also a railway track. The median price in this suburb, guys, is uh, quite hefty. I will tell you later in the video, but uh, we'll spin around and we'll go and have a look at um, one of the streets down here and just have a look at the houses. So now we're just walking down the street of um, this suburb, guys. I don't know if you've guessed it yet. Um, it's a small suburb, two square kilometres, like I said, and it's adjacent to um, Beaconsfield. It's called South Fremantle. So it's fairly close to the, the fishing the fisherman, uh, fisher, fishing boat harbour and all those places, all the um, eateries, um, Fremantle, etc. And a lot of old, very old houses through here. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it, it must be the location, guys, because it's not really um, doing much for me at the moment. Streets, it's an old area. Yeah. I mean, you can see the streets. You can see that it's quite a leafy area. A lot of trees on the verges and that. And you can see the street over there to your right. And um, people park on both sides of the street here because some of the places don't really have parking. So for another third car to squeeze down there, if they're driving down here, be a bit hard because um, these streets are extremely narrow, guys. Um, you, you'll find the odd, you know, decent house through here. Um, but a lot of them are quite old. I'm not sure what that is ahead over there. There's something written on the... It's called the local hotel. So it's a pub or a hotel. The local hotel, smack bang in the middle of South Fremantle. There you go. So that must be their local drinking hole. Oh yeah, here's a few, um, this is South Terrace that we, we're going to walk along. So it looks like there's a few um, shops and that stuff down here. So this is where you'll probably come to do your shopping and that. But the main shopping area would be Fremantle. This area is also serviced by a number of bus routes and I would, would say the buses would come down South Terrace over here, what, what we're on, because this is actually a, a main um, road through here. And, um,
couple of guys waving, having their lunch. So um, this here is South Terrace, everyone out having lunch and I'm also pretty hungry. So being such a small um, suburb, this um, being such a small suburb, we don't know where the end of it is. That restaurant must be fairly popular, guys, because it is pretty packed. Here's a bus stop right here. So um, that's where the bus will come. So we've actually seen a, uh, a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment on realestate.com in this area for 765000 and a four bedroom two bathroom house we've seen for 1.4 million dollars so that'll roughly give you um, you can sort of guess what the median price is the median price in this area guys is what that house costs 1.4 million dollars that's the median price in uh, South Fremantle it looks like quite a trendy area you can see there's a lot of um, alfresco dining and stuff going on in this area if we can get it once we pass this car there's another restaurant across the road there and they um, people are out there having their lunch so guys we're just walking down another little side street here in South Fremantle and uh, these look like all the old uh, houses the original type houses over here check this one out here guys this one's right on the virtually on the road and the they, um, it's all dark in there. And the veranda's right on the road. Now the suburb, like I said, is only two square kilometres in size. There's uh, 4,000, approximately 4,000 residents in the area. So not very big. Um, but quite expensive. So... Beaconsfield had a median house price of 800 and I think it was 893,000. This area has got a median price of 1.4 million Australian dollars, guys. There's a beautiful house there, beautiful old house. And on the right hand side, there's another nice limestone house over there that looks quite nice. So, like I said before, there are a few nice houses. Another nice one here on the corner. This one looks pretty cool. So, between the two suburbs of Beaconsville and South Mammal, there's a whopping 507 thousand Australian dollars the difference in the median price that's quite a big amount of money five hundred and seven thousand Australian dollars difference between the median price of Beaconsfield and South Fremantle so, and the view you don't really get much of a view unless you've got a double story house um, right on the on the main road here um, you'll get a, a view but like I said there, that there is a railway track right in front of you I put a few palm trees there to make it look nice but um, mostly industrial over there on that side there's a few boats I can see through the fence over there Someone's um, restoring an old house over here on the corner. This one looks like it's going to be quite, quite a nice restoration, restoration job going on here. So we'll just um, walk down the side street here, guys. And, uh, this is 
some of the stuff here of the restoration work, some limestone and that of this house on the corner I just pointed out. There's a nice house over there on your, on your left over there. That looks quite good. It's old, but it looks quite nice, fits in nicely with the area, put it that way. So what do you think guys? Where would you rather live? Beaconsfield or South Fremantle? Leave some comments down below for us. Have you lived in any of these areas? In Beaconsfield or South Fremantle or do you live in this area? Let us know and let us know what you think. The, the cafe strip there on, um, on uh, the main road over there is um, quite nice. There's a lot of people out having lunch and that, so that's quite good. Uh, Beaconsfield doesn't have that cafe strip. But um, yeah, we might just wind it up over here, guys, the video. So um, let us know what you think of the two suburbs. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the, to the channel. And um, there's another house going up here, guys. Check this out, the construction site. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Hi uh, guys, so this here is the foreshore to um, South Beach. Thought we'd just sort of come here and have a look. And um, you can see the, the beach over there, the water over there. And um, for a wintry day, it looks pretty calm. There's a few people out today, out and about.